We love hip hop. No more competition, fam. We done made it to the top. We're at the top of the final. We're the real final level. Let's stop right there for a second. Okay. And obviously, this is the post that the boy Drizzy Drake jumped under. He said, I'll get on that doobie and Pressa. Just record it and send it to me. All right. Now, I'm going to stop there because he said, we're the real final boss. We're the real final level. And we're going to go back here. Because, I, you know, since that sentiment went out, we'll start there. A lot of people had their opinions. They were like, yo, Drake, you know, Drake's offering a verse. Doovie, Pressa, you should do it. And then there was a whole other side of people that were like, nah, there's nothing that could ever squash the beef. There's no amount of money that, I, that could ever squash this beef. There's been too much bloodshed, you know. A lot of pe people were even jumping in the comments like, yo, so how much Drake going to pay them? And I was like, yo, this uh, However, with that Pressa um, live stream that he was doing, he said, we're the final, we're the final level. And I had a conversation yesterday with Mula first, and I want to cover that first before we move on to Doobie's response. Okay. I heard you say that, yo, what, how is that negative? How could that be negative? How could that be taken negative? That situation, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's just put an example. See? Because he said in that same very shit you posted, which Drake liked. Okay. He says, whatever Mula says, we're the final, we're the final level. We're the real final level. Hmm. That's one that you guys don't think that, oh, you guys think that you guys should just pass by that. And oh, uh, no, no, don't I, I speak. caught it. No, 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 don't, don't even speak. Don't even speak. Just wait. <laughs> I, I, got, I, I got it from here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Legendary. And oh, yeah. This guy is a hero now. Oh, my gosh. He wants to see the city unite. Getting drunk on fucking live does not do nothing for you. Okay, you get drunk and fucking doing whatever the fuck you're doing. You're disrespecting in the same breath of putting this city together. It's a lie. And then we have people like you saying, oh, oh, my gosh. Okay, this is there's a there's, there's an offer on the table, guys. Okay, <laughs> there's an offer on the table. You guys are not going to take it. Yo, we can put this shit be, be, behind us. Salute to me with the editing. He just said, oh, we're the real final level. Imagine if said someone came to you and they don't fuck with you, but they're all in the fucking public saying, hey, we're the real we love hip hop. Or better, you know what? Drake. How about if someone said to you, Chubbs, yo, we're the real owl. We're, we're the bigger owlers. Let's just, let, and, and let's, let, 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 and let's can reunite though. But we're the biggest owls. It's kind of a backhand compliment. Yeah. So how the f could that be good? How could that be a new T.O.? Let's go over to the ops page for a quick second. You know what I'm going to do? And I said I was going to do this yesterday. Big salute to Mula first. Because I did mention Rockboy Ninja in the interview. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was being a... Uh, I was being funny style, whatever. I'm funny style sometimes, whatever. I don't care. But I did tell him at the end of the interview when we were talking after that yeah, I'm probably going to get a little bit of backlash for that little comment I said about Rock Boy and whatever, whatever. And it's fine. But I told him I'm going to just try to piece it up. Salute to Rock Boy Ninja. All right. Let's do that. Salute to him. All right. I, I, I'm. I'm over the beef, man. So he said something about there's a video in here from Pressa. Okay, so this is the full video. He said Rockboy had the full video. 
I have TikTok money right here too. Anybody that can want. And he said that after that part that I, I only had a small piece. Okay, pause. Um, that there was more that was said. All right. What I will start doing, like I said, salute to Rock Boy, even if he doesn't feel the same. He could be like, yo, Friday suck your mom. You told me suck my mom, so it's on forever because you said words to me. Bro, it's not that serious. Okay. But with that being said, I'm going to start looking on this page a little bit more because if you had the full video and that was available and the only reason that I didn't see it is because of us having issues, then I'm not doing my job. And I'm not doing that. I'm not going to not do my job for petty beef. It's just not worth it. We got way bigger things to deal with in, the, in this game, bro. Okay, so here we are. The real final level. Whatever Mula says, we're the real final level. We made it already, fam. At this point, we could just squash everything, fam. Done did everything. Let's make the city great again. Let's make Toronto great again, man. You know what I mean? Let's make the city great again, man. Nigga already wearing some cheap ass clothes, cheap ass winter jackets. You know, I don't even, I would never wear one of those winter jackets ever. I would even make my little homies wear those winter jackets. Whoa. Mula was right. My chain's like 80. When I say yeah, I spent 80 on my chain, that's a lot of jewelry. I wasn't talking in Canadian either. Well, goddamn. <laughs> well, goddamn. I did not know that was there. Oh. This is the problem. Y'all niggas don't really want peace. Y'all niggas more just, we just want to get some clout for the day. And listen, I'm not against anybody getting some traction to their page. That's what we're supposed to do every day. But low key, this might have not been a peace ploy. Yes, peace was said. Yeah, let's just make Finch great again. Let's make peace. But low key is because like, yo, we're already the guys. But guys, and I'm just, I'm being real with you. Would you still want peace in the city if you guys weren't, you, let's not get it twisted. These guys are on the top of the food chain when it comes to the Toronto underground rap game, okay? The up top movement, BFR, whatever, say whatever you want to say. Them niggas have so many talented guys in their crew, they run it. Shade in the six, good idea. We're going to do a poll. Would you still want peace? No, actually, let's, let's ask. Is BFR the number one crew? Okay. Start a poll. Boom. Thank you, Shade in the Six. Now, would you guys still want the peace if y'all weren't number one? If you didn't win already, if you didn't have songs with Coil Ray, um, 2C, Rowdy Rebel, all these different people, with, you know what I'm saying? Um, going on tour with the boy, all those different things. Would man still want peace? And I'm being real. I I love y'all niggas. Okay. No pause. Like I've been around all of you guys multiple times, and y'all have been some real good people, fam. I know y'all some good niggas. But would you still want peace in the city if you guys weren't the guys? 
Because it doesn't sound like it here. Niggas is still dissing niggas. You know what I'm saying? So yes, it sounds good when you take a clip of it, but when you play the rest, it doesn't sound like mans want peace in the city. So don't waste the boy's time sending verses to you guys if you guys don't have any intentions to make any peace. Because I understand what people are saying. Oh, verse from Drake is not going to be enough to help everybody. You know what? If we're not going to act like that's not a start, then you guys are lame. We love hip hop.